Welcome, darlings. So this is Miss McKinney, and welcome to our Add and Subtract Integers Ed Puzzle. So you want to make sure that you have done all of your other work adding and subtracting integers first. Make sure you've done your Khan Academy. Make sure you've played Prodigy. Make sure you've done your Flipgrid and watched other people's Flipgrid. This is your final quiz. It is for a grade, and you cannot redo it. So study now. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to type your academic integrity and principled action statement. So you're going to type exactly what I have here inside the quotes when it prompts you to do so. Now keep in mind, you cannot give or receive any help. All right. So what that means is you can't tell your friends or your siblings that are in sixth grade what you have on the quiz, what's on the quiz, how to do the quiz or anything like that. You may not use your notes. You may not ask a friend or family member. You may not open other videos while you are taking this. That is what you are saying while you are typing that statement. All right, so just to let you know, hopefully you've done your, uh, your, your assignments and you've seen these counters. So the reds are negative and the yellows are positive. When they line up like this, they cancel out. So what we have here is we have positive four and we're adding negative six. And so when they cancel out, we don't count those anymore and we end up with two red ones, which gives us a negative two. So my first question is why do we always cancel them out in pairs of yellow and red? Next, use the counters to add 6 plus negative 5. What problem do these counters represent? What is the answer to the problem that these counters represent? Use these counters to add negative 7 plus 5. What is the correct problem and answer represented by these counters? What is negative 5 plus 2? What is negative 5 minus 2? What is negative 500 plus 200? What is negative 500 minus 200? What is negative 498 plus 14? What is 76 minus negative 232? In your bank account, you have $100. I'm sorry, $1,000. I'm gonna start again. In your bank account, you have $1,000. You owe $1,200 for rent and $300 for your car payment. So how much will you have after you pay your bills? You owe a friend $100. You gave them $20 one day and $35 another day. Mathematically, what is your money situation? A flying fish starts out 15 feet below sea level and goes up 17 feet. What number represents the fish's new height? A 
A submarine starts at 500 feet below sea level, dives down 250 feet, and then rises up 700 feet. What is the elevation of the submarine now? All right, guys, hope you did a great job. Have a nice day.